Hey y'all, this is Scott Lowe again here at Hatch Camp in Clayton, Georgia doing some tutorials for Trout Bomb Troubadour. Today we're going to talk about trout. When, here at Hatch Camp we mainly fly fish for trout. We do have a couple other species out there but what we're really gunning for is these guys. This is a rainbow trout. You can see it's got kind of green, pink, white. We also have some brown trout and some brook trout out there. But rainbows are the main main guys we find. Um, trout are related to salmon. They're salmotruta is the Latin name. That being said, they're cold water fish. So here in North Georgia, we're about at the most southerly tip of where we find trout. There's only a few streams even south of us here that hold trout. Um... We have a real good stocking program here in North Georgia that keeps most of the creeks full, but the temperatures are really why you don't see it any further south in here. Once the temperature, the water temperature starts getting above 70 degrees, trout start not feeling very good. Um, they like to stay cool, and so w when the water gets warmer, they get deeper, because as you get deeper in that water, the temperature drops. Um, we were just discussing here today how you know we're about middle approaching July middle of the summer and water temperatures all around are getting a little warm so you know once they start hitting 70 degrees it's really a good idea maybe to go catch some bass or some panfish or something because the trout need a break. Um, what happens is in a fight with a trout you know a trout's whole body is a muscle. 90% of it is a muscle and when you're fighting a fish it creates a lot of lactic acid buildup like when you go work out what makes you sore is that lactic acid that gets built up in your muscles and that happens with a trout when you're fighting them and so after if a fight goes too long that lactic acid can become so acidic in the trout's body that it actually will kill it so as temperatures approach 70 degrees, we kind of slow down on the trout fishing and go hunting for some other fish. But uh, always have a, I always have a thermometer with me when I go out to the creek. And I like to check the temperatures because that also kind of tells me what kind of bugs are coming. But we'll talk about bugs and matching the hatch in another time. Um, so you know, always check the water temperature when you go out in the summertime so you don't hurt any fish. Hope you learned something. Have a good day.